Welcome! This tutorial describes our fold change with p-value searches that query expression data. Although this tutorial uses ToxoDB, this type of search is available for expression datasets on UPathDB sites. Our fold change with p-value searches return genes whose differential expression between two samples is statistically significant based on the Fisher's exact test. Let's consider a study published by Reed et al. in Genome Research that explores gene expression during the life cycle of Imeria tenella, which causes coccidiosis in poultry. The study collected RNA sequencing data from four samples represented by the life cycle stages, unsporulated oocysts, sporulated oocysts, sporozoites, and merozoites. The raw RNA-seq data was analyzed to produce expression values. Then, for each gene and sample comparison, the fold change and Fisher's exact test p-values were computed and stored. Our fold change p-value search allows you to compare two samples of this RNA-seq experiment and return genes that are differentially expressed. Let's search this data to find genes with at least eight-fold higher expression in sporulated oocysts than in unsporulated oocysts. Choose Transcript Expression and RNA-Seq Evidence to go to the list of available RNA sequencing studies that can be searched. The Etonella Life Cycle Stage Transcriptome Dataset is the first in the table. Click on the FCPB button to go to the search. Define the search parameters by setting Direction to Upregulated, Comparison Sample to Sporulated Oocyst, and Fold Difference to 8. Then click Get Answer to run the search. The search returned 1,011 genes whose eightfold or greater increase in expression between unsporulated and sporulated oocysts was statistically significant. The fold change, p value, and a graph of the results are shown in the result table. Let's revise the search to compare unsporulated oocysts with sporozoites. Hover over the strategy box and click Edit when it appears. Choose to revise the strategy from the Edit pop-up. From the Revise pop-up, we can reset any parameter. Let's change the comparison sample to sporozoite. Before running the search, I'm going to name the search sporozoite to help keep track of the strategy steps. The search returned 1,074 genes whose expression increased eightfold or greater from unsporulated oocysts to sporozoites. Suppose we are interested in finding genes that are upregulated in sporozoites but not in merozoites compared to unsporulated oocysts. Since the search only compares two samples at once, we need to extend this strategy with a second search for merozoite upregulated genes and subtract the two search results. Click Add Step to begin. Navigate to the RNA-Seq searches. Choose the Imeria Life Cycle Stages FCPV search again. Arrange the parameters to return genes upregulated by 8-fold using unsporulated oocysts as the reference and merozoites as the comparison sample. Now choose the method for combining searches. To find genes that are upregulated in sporozoites, search 1, but not in merozoites, search 2, choose to combine the searches using 1 minus 2. The search for upregulated merozoite genes compared to unsporulated oocysts returned 1,667 genes, while there were 430 genes that were upregulated in sporozoites but not in merozoites. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please contact us with any questions or suggestions.